One of the most helpful parts of any analytics is in-store search data. You can actually get this data inside your BigCommerce control panel by going to the Analytics tab and clicking In-Store Search. But a lot of store owners love the convenience of seeing it inside their Google Analytics. There's just one step to begin collecting and leveraging this data. Let's go up to Admin at the very top of our Analytics. This is where you can edit any settings of your site's integration into Google Analytics. Make sure you're on the correct property, and let's go over to View Settings on the right. The first item we want to address is the default page field. All BigCommerce stores should type in index.php in this field. This prevents Google Analytics from seeing two pages as your homepage. If you want to work in different currencies, you should adjust the currency setting here. Now let's turn on e-commerce tracking and site search tracking. Site search tracking allows you to track all the searches that happen on your site. This helps you to create better keywords, product content, title tags, meta descriptions, and search keywords. By studying your most searched for keywords, you're able to increase customers' ability to find these items in your store, and you can identify potential new inventory possibilities. We just need to type in search underscore query in the query parameter box. This tells Google Analytics the parameters we use here at BigCommerce. Click Save and let's go back to reporting at the top of the page. Let's check out some different areas of your analytics control panel. You'll find all sorts of cool data within the audience section of Google Analytics. If you want to pick apart the geography of your site's visitors or their behaviors, you can do that as well. The acquisition section on the left menu is a key part of your site's data. Click on Overview. Here you can check out where you acquired your traffic from. It shows us what amount of traffic is coming from direct sources, a link to your site, or how much is coming from organic search. This means who's finding you in the search engines and how. Let's check out channels for a more in-depth look. If you click on direct or organic search, you get even more detailed data as to what pages visitors linked into or what search keywords help that visitor find your site. This is great information to take into account when deciding where to spend your marketing dollars especially for Google AdWords campaigns. If we click All Traffic, we can see where our traffic is coming from. If we open up Keywords, we'll see we can view both paid and organic. Paid would be traffic derived from keywords that you've purchased through AdWords or another online advertising service you might use. Speaking of AdWords, we can get some great statistics below under the AdWords section. You can see all the data from your current campaigns once you link your AdWords with your analytics. You'll find a great video tutorial on doing this right on this page. A great action item for you to do is to set up Webmaster Tools Sharing. Find this by expanding Search Engine Optimization and clicking on Queries. Click the button at the top of the page and scroll down to the bottom of this next page. Just click the Edit link in the Webmaster Tools section. Webmaster Tools will give you some great data related to search engine search queries that produce your site as a result. It lets you see what results your visitors clicked on the most. Use this data to replicate what you did right for other keywords, products, and categories. Below acquisition, you'll find behavior. This is where we'll find site search data from our store. We can see what terms customers search for the most on our site. Remember, you can add any of this information right into your dashboard to make it easier to view. The last item is conversion. This might be your most important area. Click on e-commerce and then overview. This shows the past month's data on our orders, but remember, we can change the date range to anything we want by adjusting the date range on the top right. So as you can see, Google Analytics is an amazing resource for your site's data. It's in depth, but it doesn't need to be overwhelming. Familiarize yourself with the terminology Google Analytics uses, and you'll soon discover it's really pretty easy to read and to navigate. You can get all of your favorite data right into a dashboard so it's the very first thing you view when you enter your analytics dashboard. Also, Google Analytics has some great video tutorials and online courses that dive much deeper into all the functions and possibilities of this powerful platform.